Hi everybody, I'm Guy Fieri, and today we're shaking things up. I'm off to meet up with one of my favorite chefs. This guy is one of the most popular and famous chefs I know. He's Scottish, loud, and full of energy. That's all right here, right now, on this exclusive Diners, Drivers, and Dives interview with my man, Gordon Ramsay. So, Gordon Ramsay, when did you start cooking? Well, after finishing my studies in hotel management in 1987, I apprenticed with many famous chefs in France, Spain, and the Americas. Did you pursue any other career before becoming a chef? Well, yes, actually. I was an avid football player. Um, I started when I was 15, and I continued to play. Um, for three years, I actually joined a very, very um, exclusive team called the Glasgow Rangers, and I served with them for three years. And uh, after those three years, I got a premature knee injury, <sighs> and I could never play football again. So. Ever since then, I've been learning how to cook. How did your father feel about you dropping all your athletic activities to pursue cooking? Well, when I had my injury, my father was very angry at me, almost. And actually, that's the whole reason why I left home at the age of 16. Many people. Many people didn't believe in me back then, and neither did my father. So, I left and started to learn how to cook. I actually began cooking in a small town restaurant, and extra fact, I was actually fired from that job because I had an affair with the owner's wife. to go and change my clothes. Anyways, yeah, it's currently 41 degrees outside. So, when I asked for a sweatshirt, you guys gave me one that says, Waldwick. Disappointing. Anyways. Enough about the past, let's look at today. How do you feel about your current success and popularity? I do enjoy being successful as with anybody, but what I do enjoy more is cooking. I mean, it is my profession after all. And oh boy, do I love yelling at people who cannot do what I tell them to do. I'm a huge fan of your fun delicious show, Hell's Kitchen. What was it like working with the other chefs in that show? Well. Some were donkeys, some were bimbos, but they all had passion to be chefs, but some were just too dumb to even understand how to cook. So, I dropped that. Now, we've heard when your childhood, your father was the nicest guy around. How was your family life when you were a young child? Yeah, hated my father. He, oh, man, he was one bloke. He was an alcoholic drunk. One thing he ever told me to do was to swim. Huh? I'm glad. Jesus. I hit my mother one time, so hard, that she had to go to the hospital and get 57 stitches for her one 
wound. 57. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Aided my folder. You seem like such a busy guy. What do you plan to do when all your TV show contracts are finished? Well, plan to settle down, spend more time with my wife, maybe go on my yacht. But I'll be back. I'll be back to fix up some more kitchen nightmares. But I'll be able to fix up not only just kitchens, but chefs themselves. And for starters, I think you need to work on your cooking and being yourself. Thank you so much for this gangster interview, muchacho. We learned so many righteous facts about this dude over here from his childhood life to his many juicy, not so secret facts about his first job. Oh, that was, f that was juicy. Okay. We'll see you next time on Diners, Drivers, and Dives. Jesus Christ. <laughs>